Subscribe. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the United Twins hosted by myself, CM, and my bro over there, Cappy. And as you guys know, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has been sacked, dismissed, however you want to say it, from his managerial role at Manchester United after our team's 4-1 loss to Watford away from home. It was a terrible result. And it had been coming. It had been coming. First of all, I do want to take the time to appreciate Ole as the man and the club legend uh, and say thank you. You know, came in and had some very good moments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes where we were jumping for joy. You know, Ole at the wheel was there for a reason. You know, he gave us hope. He gave us belief. He gave us joy. And for that, we have to thank you. We have to congratulate you because there was a good job in there and unfortunately people allowed it to almost fall back down and that's an unfortunate situation but yeah like i said has some good moments in his time at united but it just seemed like this season was a reflection of all the negatives that have been spotted over the last few years under his management now, the luck had run out the direction of where we were going seemed to be falling rather than rising with all the results and performances putting it all into context i do believe it was the right time to go what i do want to focus on however is the hierarchy of the club itself and their decision making because they have truly exposed how poorly prepared they are and it's all to do with structure you set Oli on saturday night announced on sunday morning you then intend to appoint an interim manager until the end of the season as you prepare to conduct what i hope will be a thorough appointment process but, um, that should include finding all the targets that fit the set of players we have and the club of course but to a lesser extent you see I feel like we focus too much on the past and it's easy to do that with a club like United. So much winning, so much history. It's easy to do that. But we need to get back to finding that manager that has a clear plan and wants to get everybody involved, wants to play attacking football, win games and most importantly, win trophies, win league titles, Champions Leagues, FA Cups, League Cups, whatever it is, win it. True rotations of our squad, you know, making sure that you get the best out of all the players we currently have, not just the mm -hmm. first 11 and then a couple on the bench. Eventually, when we do appoint a manager, though, it will be over to the players to perform because they have been given a bit of a blight. Let me, let me know what you think in the comments, but I definitely feel like Ole and the coaching staff have taken a lot of the criticism, whereas the players were kind of past, past judgment because everybody was like, well, these tactics, they're poor. You know, they're setting the players up for failure. Well, now it's time for the players to show who they really can be because they have played poorly for a lot of the games this season. Most of the games this season, they've played very badly. So they cannot be away from the criticism. And to be fair, they shouldn't have been away from the criticism before, but it just got so bad and obvious that the coaching was the problem. And I'll speak a bit more about that in a bit. But it got obvious that that was the problem. So they mm. kind of got to apply a bit. But yeah, players really now need to perform because Villarreal will be a difficult, must-win game in a hostile environment. Champions oh, yeah, League, bro. this is where the stars shine. <laughs> then we have Chelsea after that. Another crucial game that could see us even further away from fourth. We're already six points behind West Ham. Imagine. Now, do we really know when the interim will be appointed? No. So, for now, we're going to have to get results with the coaching staff that existed under Ole. Led by Michael Carrick, the guy that was under Mourinho and Ole. So... It's going to be hard to believe that anything will be different. I'm hoping and praying, but at this moment of time, it's hard to believe that anything will really change.
All right, people, I'm going to bounce off of CM in a second, but I do want to say, I do want to say, first of all, shout out to the editor, Cameron, CM22ENT. I, I, I want to give him some light because recently I saw on TikTok that someone kind of criticised what we were doing and saying and almost saying that we're using the club for clout. Couldn't be any more wrong, and I think he said this as well. We do this to express ourselves. Now, may we get carried away sometimes, we mainly being me, because I'm the one to get carried away. Yes, but that's what human beings do. We see it all across this beautiful platform of YouTube or just social media as a whole. We all get carried away sometimes when we're doing something or speaking about something we're passionate about, something that we love. So if you don't like that, take your two feet and go away. There's, there's no place for you on this platform or on this video if you don't like what you're watching. Take a dislike, do whatever you want to do and dip, all right? We won't change for nobody and straight like that. The United Twins will continue and all the other fantastic fan channels that are speaking about Man United and having a voice and sharing their voice will continue and you can't stop that with your negative self. Remember that. Proud of this guy. But bouncing off CM. Look, Ole, thanks for everything, man. Thank you for everything. You'll always be a club legend. And we hope to see you back at Old Trafford very, very, very soon. Take a break, spend time with family, and just enjoy life. On to the board's decision to let Carrick and Cole take over. It's just throwing guys under the bus. Making them take control on what is arguably the biggest job in the world and the most scrutinised. It's the lack of preparation and a lack of care for the club, players, fans and everybody involved. Manchester United need real people who care about what happens on the pitch. People who care about the history of the club or at least show that they are willing to learn. People who are proactive even when things are going well. Things can happen in an instant. What are you going to do <laughs> when that happens? Just try and make people feel sorry for you because you lack the business know how to prepare for a crisis? Unacceptable. It's sad to see it because everybody knew that there were only a few days until Villarreal. So a real decision had to be made. There had to be somebody lined up. <laughs> you know, even... You know, it's mad. Even if the if Ole got sacked. And that just wasn't the case. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm bewildered right now. I, I, I'm really confused because it's like so much has happened. But also so little has happened. You know, as always, we will try to be optimistic for tomorrow. Or today, whenever this video uploads. Hopefully the guys can go out there and get a result away from home because, oh my God, we need it. Mm. <laughs> and Definitely. look, you never know. Anything can happen against Chelsea. <laughs> I mean, I have little, little optimism for that game, but anything can happen in the Premier League. <laughs> but the whole open opportunity just isn't there right now, CM, because of the people who are supposed to be leading us. As a fan base, and this is the final thing I was saying. It's sentiment towards all of you guys. Not, not all of you guys, but some of us. Some of us that unfortunately have to take things negatively and then contribute to the community being negative. You now, as a fan base, we must come together. I have to say, we do, we do not do each other a favour. We do not do Manchester United fans justice as a whole. This match day to internet thing is foolishness anybody that separates us as fans doesn't deserve a voice we will do the same thing and we all want the same thing so for once put your egos to the side huh? and do what's right by all of us and the club you love support the club support each other and continue to spread the messages that matter the most to Manchester United. Hmm? What are that? Getting true footballing structure and organisation. Hmm? And getting those who have constantly failed. 
felt the team, the fans, the club as a whole out of there. Get out of here, mate. That is how we come together as a club and that is how we make true change. Because we are not Manchester United right now, we are Manchester divided and it needs to stop. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.